Well, hello, everybody. My name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. And today I have a special treat for you. It is a collaboration between the people at Google and Teenage Engineering. We have here the Pocket Operator 4 Pixel. It is the PO33, the KO, but it does video. Let's go ahead and just like listen and watch some of the stuff that I've made and also the demo thing here, just to get a sense of what's going on. Check the chapter markers if you're looking for a specific feature, or, but let's just kind of get started. In order to understand what this does, we need to get some content into it. So uh, you're going to see my beautiful face. Let's do it. I'm going to hit the uh, little button here to import a video, and we're going to record with the camera. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Hello there. Mm. Tch. Tss. Ah. Mm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What's it doing now? Well, it is uh, analyzing our video. It's slicing it up. It is using a little AI algorithm to detect the type. Oh, so, so pretty. Uh, to detect the type of uh, uh, sound it is. Mm. That's the one right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, step sequence a little metronome. Um, and uh, we'll do that by hitting edit. And here I can uh, choose which slice I want. And uh, if we go here and look at that uh, cool, uh, cool animation as you drag. This was made in Unity and there's all these cool layers that go along with it. I guess we should walk through this real quick. So um, video page. Uh, pattern and pattern chaining. We're on pattern one right now. We'll get into that in a bit. Mixer, tempo, and uh, let's go pipe this down to like 118. That's almost 120. What am I doing? Uh, tempo, swing, key, and there's our slice thing. You can actually edit the slices in here <laughs> by grabbing these uh, endpoints right here and moving them around. So if you have something you want to manually slice, you can do it here. But obviously, it auto detected these slices, and uh, now we can play around. So what I'm going to do is step sequence a beat. <clears throat> Nice. Okay, cool. It's beautiful. So uh, let's go to track two and record a second video. Boom, 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 boom. Listen to that, that lo-fi, uh, <laughs> that lo-fi air. Oh, there I am. Okay, so we have um, a couple ways we can play. Obviously, this is like the drum slice mode. Come on down here. But we can also do pitch. Boom, 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 boom. And the cool thing about this is um, it actually can detect pitch uh, and relate it to the key that you set in the uh, this page right here. Um, and uh, another cool thing is if it detects two sounds that are of a similar pitch to each other, when you play, uh, uh, let's say there was two sounds that uh, were this this pitch right here, um, meaning two slices, it will round robin between them to give you a little bit of extra, uh, what do you call it, um, sort of variation in your in your pattern, which is really, really cool. So it's a text pitch, and we'll round robin through that. Uh, let's go ahead and live record this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to our mixer page and I'm going to turn up. I want to get that limiter engaged. It sounds really good.
So uh, I, I want to chain some patterns together. We've been working on pattern one. I want to chain some patterns so I can have like a little bit of variation over like a four bar uh, phrase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy pattern one, put it on two, three, and four. And I'm going to go to pattern two. And uh, I'm going to uh, do a little bit of variation on our drums. <laughs> Cool. So how do I chain these together? Uh, super easy. I hit link and now I can chain them together. So I'll do one, two, one, three, one, two, three, four. And now they will play as long as link is enabled in that order. So let's go ahead and go to track three here and record something new here. Ooh, you are my mom, baby. You are my mom, baby. <laughs> I'm going to win a Grammy for this. See how it's using the uh, the little, little AI algorithm to like tell that these are like different types of sounds. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is like Reggie Watts on crack. Now that we have this masterpiece, what are we going to do with it? Well, there's a lot of fun stuff we can do with it. The first thing you're going to want to do after you uh, after you record is possibly come over to uh, this page. So if you're on this and you scoot or tap over. Boop, boop. You get to the uh, effects page. And this is for each one of the uh, tracks. Each one has this particular effect thing that you can do. And it's a combination of pitch and filter. So if I hit play, I'm going to go ahead and like mute uh, everything except for the original drums. So let's go ahead and record this. So now that's uh, sequenced. And if we hit edit, we'll see that each pattern has this little uh, step sequencer thing that you can come in and edit. So these represent pitch and filter. So if you want to come in and make changes, you can right here. Let's go ahead and mess with the rest of our tracks. All right, amazing. Um, the next thing you might want to do is uh, mix the video. And uh, if we hit effects here, we'll have two uh, overarching effect pages. Uh, one is our video mixer here, and we can tap to switch uh, what's playing right now. And then we have the punch in effects. So let's go ahead and record uh, some video movement first, and then we'll do the punch in effects. <laughs> It's truly disturbing. <laughs> God, are you still with me? Uh, this is a lot. Um, okay, so uh, now we can go over here to our punch in effects. And if you're familiar with like the um, pocket operator punch in effects or the OPZ punch in effects, uh, you're going to be right at home here. But guess what? They do things to the video. Um, and this is actually a great time to mention that um, if you don't like your how your face looks on its own, you can go up and down on this video thing right here and get this cool effect like this. Uh, I'm going to kind of leave it right there. So these are all different like uh, uh, punch in effects, like like crazy things that will affect your video and audio. And really the only way to uh, get a sense of this is just play. So here we go. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
Come into my face! Yeah! So you can actually edit these. So I need to record some first, and then we'll go and edit them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I hit edit now, you can see that we have all of them here and you can uh so each each you know effect slot is uh a uh, a number right so we have 16 different effects so you can come in here and uh add them um it looks like you have to select the effect you want first so for instance if i want this one i'd have to press that and then i could come and put it in here uh, you can't slide up and down at least right now to select the effect basically like you can uh select a slice in the uh slice editor but i mean like <laughs> Come on, this is fun as hell. By the way, if you ever get lost on the app, go ahead and click the guide button and it will give you all kinds of information about how to do things, which is a very, a very useful. There's also a, uh, a walkthrough that you can uh, open up if you ever need to do that. So let's go ahead and make a new project because this thing uh, isn't just for, uh, you know, making the worst Reggie Watt song you've ever heard. You could also import video. And I've prepared a whole bunch of different video pieces to bring into here. So let's go ahead and get out of here, cast in that. Let's go ahead and load a video instead. So uh, I'm gonna go to my drive. Let's start with a drum loop, shall we? Let's start with this one right here. So I have these drum loops I made in After Effects. Uh, well, I mean, the drum loops weren't made. The drum loops weren't made in After Effects, uh, but the little visualizations were. So um, these will just provide us with a cool little boom bap kit. I'm going to turn the tempo down to 90 and turn the swing up a bit and come back here. And um, let's go ahead and step sequence a little beat on this real quick. I like that. That's cool. Okay. Track two. What else can we bring in here? Well, uh, I have some ambient recordings, which are really, really pretty. So these are like uh, stock footage and uh, pads from an old zero G sample set. Um, and we can bring these in here and uh, make a little like hip hop -y sounding ambient track, maybe. Now, this is one where I'm going to want to adjust the slices. So I'm going to make slice one, something like that. And slice two, push it on over. Just have it kind of like float around. And let's go to melodic for this and see uh, what that sounds like. I like that. Cool. Let's get a bass line. Yeah. Perfect. So we're all going to go here. Cool, that's fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try, uh, I wonder if these chords would work. Let's see. So before I record this, let's go over to our patterns and uh, copy this to here, here, and here. And let's go ahead and uh, link these so we can make a little pattern. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And uh, that will give us the ability to go and do some variations to our drums and our bass. Cool. 
that's cool. I like that. So I'm gonna record our uh, our video movement now. Yeah, uh, the effects part is my favorite part. So um, not this effects. Let's go back over here and uh, let's play around with this. Well, that's good. I don't like that last effect, so I'm going to go to here, and I believe it's going to be on page four. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's say that you were extremely happy with the thing that you made, and if you had made this, why wouldn't you be? I mean, let's be real. Uh, so, and you wanted to export it to the world. Uh, there's some things that you need to keep in mind. So we've been using pattern chaining for the whole time here. Um, and if you don't pattern chain, for instance, if you just make a single uh, pattern, it will export it four times and... Uh, Wow, thanks. It'll export it four times and you'll only see the first video track. So if you want to get like the full experience and really get in there and have fun with your videos, uh, change some patterns together and record some of that video uh, choosing automation and of course the effects and stuff like that because it makes it more fun, you know? You can go crazy here. Um, the uh, effect automation, uh, everything that we've automated and played with is uh, baked into the pattern. So if you want uh, variations on even like your effects, your, your step effects, your uh, punch in effects, your uh, video stuff, all that kind of stuff, you're going to want to make multiple uh, copies of those things. So if like I wanted these same one, two, three, four patterns, but I wanted to like play them differently, like with the effects, um, I'd want to copy like one to five, two to six, three to seven, four to eight. And then I could have another performance pass on those, uh, which, you know, is, is a big part of the fun here. So uh, if I want to export this, I just go to here and I hit export and it do the thing. So that's that's pretty much it. That is the pocket operator for Pixel, a free app for your Pixel phone um, to remix video on the fly um, anywhere that you choose to grab it from, uh, whether that's like walking down the street, whether or not it's, uh, you know, in the bath playing with the water, whether or not that, you know, your dog is making some funny sound, you want to make a beat out of it. Here you go. And now you can do it with video. I really want to see what you do with this. Get out there, make some recordings. I want to see what you do. Um, um, this can do a lot of fun stuff that I have not been able to show you for various reasons, uh, mostly copyright. I had some ideas for this thing, um, but like you can remix all kinds of video in here um, as long as you can get it into the app. It's choice. Remix your cat sneezing. I don't know. Just tag me when you do it. I want to see this stuff, okay? <laughs> All right, that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this has been fun. My name is Jeremy. This is Red Beans Recording, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Come into my face. Come into my face.